What is up guys, it's Mike here today to bring you guys another review of the Mix 10 Review of Steel and it's none other than Monster Mutt vs Jurassic Attack. So here it is, the third pack that I am reviewing for the Mix 10 Review of Steel, Monster Mutt, and Jurassic Attack. Very interesting because I was just about to say the only two animals in this set. However, I was wrong because obviously we have Dragonoid, which is a dragon. Then we have the actual dragon monster truck in the next pack with Soldier Fortune. So this pack kind of jumps out to me because it's kind of a unique pairing. Um, Monster Mutt we haven't really seen in 2020, and Jurassic Attack we did see it, I believe, in Mix 5 in 2019, and we also saw it as a Nitro Neon in Mix 9, which it's kind of insane because like Mix 9 was so hyped. <laughs> you know, getting around the end of the year last year, and now I'm pretty sure everyone is kind of sick of Mix 9. So, Monster Mutt, I believe there will be a zombie invasion Monster Mutt eventually released, I think that is in Mix 2. Um, mix 2 or Mix 1? I think it's one of the double packs. I know all three dog trucks are being made into zombies, so it's coming, eventually. Other than that, I don't think we've really seen a Monster Mutt this year. Um, maybe the 124 scale? Maybe. Other than that, I think this might be the first time we're seeing it. And then for Jurassic Attack, obviously we saw the Nitro Neons. Which with Jurassic Attack... Ah, oh man. Just Spin Master, give us a different paint scheme of it. Um, I know there's two other ones they could do. The green one, or the purple one, or just the regular brown one from like the early 2000s. Ah, oh man. I feel like they just missed their chance doing something cool with Jurassic Attack. Or at least making a different version of the truck. So, with that being said, let's turn this bad boy around, and there is Dragon and Soldier of Fortune, the other mix in this, or the other two trucks, or the last two trucks in this case, for the reveal of steel of mix 10, and as you guys do know, dunk it in hot water to reveal the steel, dunk it in cold to get the color back. So, really interesting pairing here. Um, I can't really wait to see what these trucks are going to look like when they change. So with that being said, let's crack this thing open and see what these trucks look like. Alright, so very interesting on both these trucks. So this Monster Mutt right off the bat looks like a Monster Mutt that we already got, I believe, in a double pack last year. And Jurassic Attack, I'll be the first to admit, I kind of like the way this one looks. So let's start off with Monster Mutt here. And it looks like Monster Mutt does have red, kind of like a red-orange transparent rim color. It does have a brown goldish transparent roll cage which is very nice and also a gray chassis and one unique thing with monster mutt here looking at it the paint job on it it's different <laughs> um obviously it's supposed to be the fur now i don't know if there's gonna be different variants of the truck but it looks like wood um <laughs> the paint actually does look like wood like a wood grain, like a stained deck or something like that. Now, that can be just me. I don't know if you guys kind of see it as I do. But, kind of interesting. So, I'm really curious to see how this truck is going to change. Obviously, the ears, the eyebrows, um, the tail, all that's kind of like a darker brown because that's not going to change. But, yeah, as you can tell, it's kind of like a wood grain very interesting for Monster Mutt. I'm really eager to see what this truck will change into. And then what to move on to Jurassic Attack now. Oh man. Um, yeah. As this truck looks as a whole, I kind of like it. I like the blue with the blue rims, the transparent rims. It's got a brown grayish or brown goldish roll cage, just like Monster Mutt, and it does have a gray chassis. Now, this looks good as a whole piece, just like our last pack that we reviewed, which was the Grave Digger and Mystery Machine. The Green Ghost Grave Digger as a whole truck looks great, and so does this Jurassic Attack. However, 
right off the bat, I'm just gonna have to minus a couple points because we've seen a blue Jurassic attack basically all throughout Spin Master history with Jurassic attack. Right here, I feel like they could have really had a good shot at making maybe the purple one or the green one or maybe even just a regular brown one since there is a lot of brown on this case here with Monster Mutt in the roll cages. So that's all I got to take away from it, but it's going to be interesting to see if this whole basically everything blue on this truck does change color. So with that being said, I'm going to put the trucks back up, zoom this back out, and we're going to change color of one of the trucks. And I'm going to go get hot water right now. Alright, so as you guys can see, we put Jurassic Attack in the water first. So let's take a closer look at that one. As we're going to put Monster Mutt in the hot water and let that sit for about a minute. And just like I thought, Jurassic Attack, basically everything that was blue on the truck besides the... I guess the part of the Triceratops right here has turned a grayish, no grayish, yeah, grayish metal color, which I really like. One of the details that I do like with this is if you look really hard at the truck and you can see the truck's basically scales on it, you can see the outlines in blue or like a purplish blue. I like that small detail because it kind of brings the whole truck out. And you know, like I said, not that much they can do with Jurassic Attack. Obviously, they can't do the plastic inserts or the horns. But I think for what they did, it works. And honestly, this might be one of my favorite Jurassic Attacks. I don't really like the Nitro Neon one. The one from Mix 5 last year was really cool. But that one was kind of... You know, it, it just looked weird <laughs> to be honest but I like the way this looks I think this looks pretty good I like the small detail with the scales on it for basically what it is I like it um, I do wish it was a different color though I do wish the truck was green or purple or whatever the case may have been but it is what it is and I think it actually looks very well whoa <laughs> now going over to get monster mutt out of this that looks a lot different <laughs> So let's dry him off and get him in the studio because that looks really cool. <laughs> Alright, so here is Monster Mutt. So just like I thought, everything that was basically that wood grain color is now basically silver or revealed steel. And I think it looks very good. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of Rottweiler, if you guys remember when there was two variants of that truck out, where the truck was a lighter, kind of like a smoky gray. It kind of reminds me of that. Or a smoky black, grayish, you guys know the ones I'm talking about. But um, yeah, this actually makes it pop really good. I think silver with brown actually is a nice kind of color palette. As you can tell, it really brings out the mouth of the dog. The eyebrows look really good. The ears look good. It looks nice. I really do like this. I kind of like that wood grain kind of fur pattern they have going on. As you can see the top and the roof of the truck. And I honestly do think this might be one of the best out of this mix. It matches everything very well. I like this truck. And I like how the color pattern kind of kept up with the roll cage, how it matches the kind of the mouth of the dog. And I also like the red rims that kind of match the collar. So I gotta say, so far out of this whole mix, Monster Mutt might be one of my favorites. It looks very well put together. The color palette is basically on point. And the truck looks good when it's not Reveal the Steel and when it is Reveal the Steel. And this is basically a prime example of what you want in this type of pack. That's how you want these trucks to look. I think this one looks very well. Definitely, probably in my top three of how these trucks should look. I not to take away from Jurassic Attack. I like the, you know, I like that truck too. But yeah, <laughs> very cool, very unique to see these two put together. I think they look good. 
out of the two, I'm going to have to favor Monster Mutt. I think that one looks very well put together. That just everything flows with that truck. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have this pack or if you guys are trying to get this pack. Now, these trucks, I have been seeing them on eBay. This pack, out of all of them, is probably the most common. However, if you do find them on eBay, you're going to have to pay like almost $25 to $30 just for it so be aware of those prices hopefully we will see these trucks in stores very soon i don't know when like i said i'm filming this video about a month after i got these so hopefully soon keeping my fingers crossed but with that being said don't forget to subscribe don't forget to drop a like and i will see you guys in another video very shortly